All right, everybody, here we go. Day 58, I am ready. I hope you are as well. Let's start on our back. We are going body weight today, so you don't need anything but your body, uh, <laughs> which sometimes can be fantastic and sometimes can be super tough. Roll back, hug those knees in nice and tight. Rest your head, see if you can get your thighs as close to your belly as possible. Close your eyes and take four deep breaths. Awesome, okay. Unfold those legs, just grab behind your thighs and try to get your legs as straight as you can. Um, if you hit up our leg set yesterday, chances are you're a little tight in the hamstrings. So we're just gonna do a little stretching, pull as tight as you can. Be so excited that you made it today. Split your legs, hold one, and then we're gonna switch to the other. You can just keep your back and head on the ground. <clears throat> Switch one and the other. Lower that leg as low as you can. So keep a gentle grab on that core. <clears throat> yes, be excited, happy, encouraged that you made it to our session today. Hopefully, I've been hearing from many of you that you, even if you're a little bit, a couple days behind, you are planning and on track to hit all 60 days which is super encouraging for me as well. It is, it's fun, you know, I uh, generally don't struggle to work out every day, but it's always exciting. All right, hug those knees back in, take a little circle with the knees. It's always exciting to recognize that you hit an entire session of something, go the other direction. Exciting, encouraging, motivating, keeps you pushing for more. All right, and then rock yourself up. We're gonna switch over to the front and hit up a downward facing dog. Spread those fingertips nice and wide. Point your index finger forward. Thumb is wide, making those fingers spread as much as possible. Drive the heels down, grab through that core, slide your shoulder blades down the spine and hollow out your armpits. Let your left heel drop as the right knee bends and then switch to the other side. Left knee drops, right heel. Pushes toward the ground. One more each side. And especially as we're getting close to the end of our winter crush, it's a good time to think back, hit your um, child's pose, and then we're going to do a little wrist warm up. So come up to your hands and knees, shoulders over the palms, hinge the shoulder heads over your fingertips as far as you can, just that little stretch in the back. So it's good to check in, see if you got where you were expecting to, to get in terms of results and progressions. Um, and if you're wondering why you didn't see anything differently than you are, please reach out. Let's uh, troubleshoot, let's figure it out. I want you to get where you're going. One more time, hold here, and then just make little uh, side to side hinges. So don't feel pain in the wrist, but just that gentle stretch. I'm gonna be on them for a little bit today. And then start picking your hands up and rotating slightly. So now the thumbs are facing the front of the mat. Keep turning those fingertips so they're gonna be all the way facing your knees and then sit back just slightly. So let me know how I can help you or where things just aren't adding up possibly where you thought. Hopefully they are. All right, release those hands and shake it out. Just remember, exercise alone, it's not gonna do super much. You really have to follow up with uh, solid nutrition, quality sleep, and uh, very good stress management. Okay, I'm gonna run us through everything that we're doing, where yesterday was not very many exercises, today we have a few more. So we're gonna start off with a wiper plank. We're gonna have 10 reps of our plank um, slash strength move and then 20 reps of our plyo move. So shoulders are gonna be up over those fingertips. You're gonna tuck the tailbone under, bring your left leg in, 
toward the opposite elbow, and then you're going to wipe it side to side. So we're going to go 10 on one side and then 10 on the other. After that, oh, if you um, don't do a plank, sorry, should have said, you can use um, anything to elevate. Sometimes that helps a lot just to put less pressure on your shoulders and neck. So you can elevate on a box or a chair or a table or the wall. Okay, bring that knee up side to side. Or you can lie on your back on your mat with the head resting on the ground and you can do a wiper this way. So your legs will be in tabletop and your wiper side to side. Just like that. Okay, our 20, our gate swings. Narrow feet, wide feet, narrow wide for 20. Then we're gonna go 10 push-ups. Um, again, just like our wiper plank, you can elevate on the wall or the box or grab some light weights and just do a chest press from the floor, okay? Next up are our 20 jump lunges. Sorry, yes, a jump lunge, I did read it right. <laughs> I showed it wrong. Uh, Mary Catherine's, our jump lunges here. 20 each leg, that's 40 total. We're gonna feel it. Um, a side plank, leg extension. You can be supported on your knee and hand, up and down here, or still too much, you can go all the way on your elbow and hip, or hit up your full side plank, and we're gonna go 10 each side, okay? 20 jump squats here, all right? And then a three-point tuck. So you're gonna set up your plank, high plank. Make sure you have that solid plank. You're gonna tuck your right toe under. Try to straighten the leg out as much as you can. That's one point. Two points back at your other foot. Three point is out by the hand. And that's one round. There's two. So we'll go two each side. Maybe a couple breaks in between. And then our last um, plyo set is a double mountain climber. So planting through those hands. You're gonna jump both knees in and then both knees out. And I will tell you, <laughs> those are tough for me. Um, you can come up and hit a, a super march if those prove difficult for you, okay? Uh, if you need to be off your hands, um, not in a plank position. Um, for your two point, or I'm sorry, your three point knee tuck, also, um, you can stay hands and knees, right? So tuck your knee under, extend the leg back, and then bring out to the side, back. Tuck under, get that little twist, back, side, back. Or again, you can use the wall or something elevated. All right, let's hit up that first set. High plank, we're gonna do a wiper plank. So set up your plank, tuck left knee to right elbow, and then go side to side. Two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten. Switch. One. Use that core. Nine, ten. Now we got our gate swings. From narrow, wide. Use those inner thighs to jump back. Really get those knees wide with toes. Here's 13. Take your time to drop deep. 19, 20. All right, push ups. Big wide fingers. Press evenly through the palms to protect the wrists. Here we go. Nine, ten. Whew, okay, jump lunges. Set up that lunge position. Twenty each leg. Ready, go. Line those knees and toes.
Keep that core going strong. Halfway. Keep it running. Here's 20. Whew. Well done. Side plank, leg extension. Set up in that side plank. Shoulder, make sure it's on top of that elbow, or if you're on your hand, on your hand. Right knee, push the hips forward. So find that plank position, even if you're in the supported plank, get your hips pushed forward. Six, seven, eight, 10. Other side, I'll hit up that side plank here. Open up, here we go. Try to get your top hip in line with the shoulder. Yes, your legs should feel heavy. Nine, 10. All right. Jump squats. Four twenty. Here we go. And in that squat. Here's fifteen. And 20. Whew. All right, we have our three point tuck. So tuck under, tuck back, tuck wide. Back into those nice big hands, push into that thumb and first finger, tuck your right leg under, back. Side, one, two, three. Remember you can do it elevated or on your hands and knees. Eight, nine, 10. Other leg, two. Check in where those shoulder heads, keep them up over the hands. Stay in it. Eight, nine, 10. I felt those, super good. All right, we're gonna have those double climbers. And we'll take a little break before we hit set two. Double climbers, or you can hit that super march. Still kind of trying to keep the heart rate up here. Here we go. One, two. Use that core. Is 18, 20. Oh, I started fast. Here we go. Hinge back, stretch through those shoulders. Give yourself a second. All right, we have our wiper planks next. Day 58. Oof. It's been a good season. 
Drive the finish. Here we go. Wiper plank. Tuck that one knee in. Two. Find that core. Don't just get the move done. Nine. Ten. Other side. Move the foot with the knee. Nine, ten. Coming up. Gate swings. Get super wide, super low. Check in with your core. Especially when you're wide. Keeping it strong and solid. Protect that low back. Nineteen, twenty, push-ups. Wide hands, strong core. One, think of your push-up as a moving plank. Full extension at the top. Don't stay in a small little range at the bottom. Nine, ten. Jump lunges. Forty total. Here we go. Keep it going. Come on, we got it. Five to go. Two, one. Oh, I wanted to stop, jeez. Side plank, leg extension. Set up that side plank, lift it, lower it 10. Six. Use the whole body. Stay supported. One. Other side. Rotate over. Here you go. Four, try to push your limit. Eight, nine, ten. Jump, squat. Sink, explode. Play. They're so nice after those jump lunges. Here's 20. Three point tuck. High plank, tucking under. Find that high plank. Here we go. Under the back side. One. Dig from the core. Focus what you're using. Nine. Ten. Let's go. Come on. Getting into that core, feel it build, stronger, take shape. Eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. 
All right, we have those double climbers. Now we'll take a longer break. Here we go. Take your break. <laughs> Jeez. When I'm losing it, I always wonder if you all are <laughs> flying on. Hopefully, hopefully you are. It's okay though. This is where a big mental practice for me comes in. <laughs> to remind myself that. Pushing to the point where I need my brakes is a good thing. It means I'm not backing off in the moment, especially body weight. Well, anything, but body weight, you can find ways to cheat through. Want to get out of there, set it in deep. So we're going to hit one last round. I'm going to take a little longer break. Be geared up. Pull those arms up overhead. Grab side to side. Okay. Make it a solid set. Don't stop and back off unless you just absolutely can't hit one more. Grab deep through that core, deep through the back. Find all those flexions. Here we go. Starting off with our wiper plank. Side to side. Two, three. Nine, 10. Suck that belly in. Wrap through the rib cage. Pull the knee as far forward as you can. And 10. Yes. Eight swings. Use those inner thighs to jump up. Stay low. Five to go. Nice. Push ups. Work for range. Core strong. It's a moving plank. Three, four, nine, ten. Okay, you're going to hit up those Mary Catherines. Ready, set, go. There's halfway. I'm losing my range. Don't want to lose my range. 15. One more each leg. Done. Oh, thank goodness. No more of those three. Side plank, leg extensions. Set that side plank. Open up. Ready, go. One, two. Three. 
six. Flex into everything. Find your biggest grab. 10, other side. Make sure that shoulder set right on top of the elbow. Three, four. Eight, nine, 10. Woo. Jump squats. Knees and toes line. Seven. Okay, Sixteen. Three point tuck. I'm getting tired in that core. That's good. All right, find your high plank. Here we go. Tuck under, back, out. Three points for every one. Four. Keep those hands on your shoulders. Seven. Ten. Other side. Two. Grip into each finger. Six. Come on, grip deep. Find that core. Double climbers. Whew. We've got it. Shoulders back and down. Follow out those armpits. Find that core. One, two. Seventeen, eighteen, twenty. Woo. Good work, good work. Holy cow. All right. Lie on the back. Let me know how that one was for you. Be fun to know. Right leg hangs long. Tug that left knee into the chest. Push it over to the right. Your left hand is out on the ground, palm down, and that left shoulder driving in. If your heart rate is flying like mine, kind of notice as we are chilling here, stretching, switch to the other side, how quickly you notice it drop down and you recover. Right knee in. Push it over to the left, right palm on the ground, right arm straight out. Push that left knee down and push your right shoulder down. Find that counter twist. Back to center. Get your figure four, cross your left knee. Oh, I say it wrong. Left ankle over your right knee, but hang here a second first. Let that knee kind of drop away, open through the hip flexor. And then now make sure you're all squared off, leveled off. 
flex both feet, interlace your hands behind your right thigh, and then dig your left elbow into that left knee as it comes toward the chest. That's where you're gonna get that extra little stretch. Depending on how tight you are, you might need to stay far away. You can push that knee with the hand. You can also use a wall, put your right foot on a wall, and then push with both hands against that left knee. Okay, keep your left ankle crossed over. Just extend up through the right leg and then stretch back here. Spread across your shoulders. Push your low back into the ground. All right, now release that left foot and pull that right leg just a little closer. Checking to see how straight you can get the back of the knee. And then check in with those hips. See if you can feel when they're kind of yanking out of place. Extend your left leg long on the ground. Drop your right leg over straight as you can. Twist again. All right, took that knee, bring it back in. And then we're gonna go to the other side. So cross your right ankle over your left knee. Push that knee away from you. And then bring the legs in, interlace your hands behind your left thigh. Push your right elbow into the right knee, flex both feet, dig deep. Or you can use the wall and push against that right knee with your hands. How close can you get that left thigh and right foot toward your chest? Stay here, but then just straighten the left leg. Pull in. Well done. Okay, release that right foot. Keep pulling that left leg towards you. Squaring out those hips and then let it cross to the right. Pushing that left shoulder into the ground. Release it, come forward. We're gonna hit up our butterfly stretch. Pull the feet in, wrap your fingers around your toes, lift the chest high, pull forward. All right, bring your knees together, feet on the ground, push yourself up, and we're gonna hinge over those straight legs. How are you doing here with your flexibility? Such an important part of being healthy, making it back tomorrow. All right, grab that core, slightly bend your knees, come all the way up. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Two days left, let's finish strong. As always, thank you for joining me. Keep me posted on what you're feeling and uh, how things are going in your journey. So I'll see you tomorrow.